we are given f of x equals 3 square root x times natural log x and asked to determine f prime of x and f prime of 1. To begin, we cannot find a derivative in radical form. Let's begin by writing the square root of x as x to the 1 half. We can write the given function as f of x equals 3x to the 1 half times natural log x. Next, we need to recognize because we have a product of two functions of x, we need to apply the product rule of differentiation, which is shown below as a derivative of u times v with respect to x equals u times v prime plus v times u prime. This indicates the derivative is equal to the first function times the derivative of the second function plus the second function times the derivative of the first function. If we want to, we can label u as 3x to the 1 half and v as natural log x. And now let's go ahead and apply the product rule of differentiation, which indicates f prime of x is equal to u with the first function of 3x to the 1 half times v prime, which is the derivative with respect to x of natural log x, which we'll determine in the next step, plus v, or natural log x, times u prime, which is the derivative of the first function and the derivative of 3x to the 1 half. For the next step, we find the derivatives here and here. We have f prime of x equals 3x to the 1 half times the derivative of natural log x, which is 1 divided by x, and then plus natural log x times the derivative of 3x to the 1 half. To differentiate, we multiply by 1 half, which gives us 3 halves, and then subtract 1 from the exponent. 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half, giving us x to the power of negative 1 half. And let's go ahead and simplify. For this first product, we have x to the 1 half divided by x to the first. When dividing in the base of the same, we subtract the exponents. 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half, giving us 3x to the negative 1 half, and then plus, here we have 3 halves natural log x times x to the power of negative 1 half. This is one possible form for the derivative function. Let's also show several other forms. We can write the derivative function as f prime of x equals x to the negative 1 half is equivalent to 1 over x to the power of positive 1 half, and x to the power of positive 1 half is equal to the square root of x. We can write 3x to the negative 1 half as 3 divided by the square root of x, plus we can write the second product as 3 natural log x divided by 2 x to the power of positive 1 half, but again, x to the power of positive 1 half is equivalent to the square root of x. So we could also write the derivative function in this form. If we wanted to, we could get a common denominator and write this as a single fraction. And let's also show that. Notice the common denominator would be 2 square root x, and therefore we'd multiply this first fraction by 2 divided by 2. Notice now we have a common denominator of 2 square root x. Indicating we can also write the derivative function as f prime of x equals 6 plus 3 natural log x, all divided by 2 square root x. Either of these last three forms of the derivative function are correct. And for the second part, we're asked to determine f prime of 1. So now we substitute 1 for x into the derivative function. I'm going to go ahead and use this last form, which gives us 6 plus 3 natural log 1, all divided by 2 times the square root of 1. Well, natural log 1 is 0, and square root of 1 is 1. This simplifies to 6 divided by 2, which is equal to 3. I hope you found this helpful.